Hi guys, welcome to Art Draw. Today you're going to need a piece of paper and some pens. Today we're going to draw Durberger's Beef Boss. So, get the black pen. Okay, first of all, we're going to draw his eyes. So a big circle here and a little bit of black in there. And then cross onto the other side of the page here on the right. Another circle and a smaller black circle in there, just on the edge. Give him some crazy looking eyes. Great. Then he's got these curved arc over the top. That helps with making him look like a bit of a burger. This moves around the edge here. There we go. There's his burger bun. Put a few little sesame seeds on the top there. Just a few dots. Now he's got a pickle on his head. So just draw a circle with a line. There we go. Next up, we're going to draw the burger element. So just add in underneath a little bit of a line here. It's got a really big long tongue, so a curvy wave arcing around just in the middle of his mouth over to the other side. Then a line in the middle, it makes it look even more like the tongue. We're going to join up an arc over to the left and an arc over to the right. And then we're going to do that again. Okay, now we've got the bottom of his mouth going on, which is, I think is tomato. Then he's got a bit of cheese underneath that, so a bit of wavy wiggly melted cheese is going on under there. Same on the other side to the left here, there we go. Then he's got the rest, I think he's got the rest of his bun underneath that. So he's got a bit more bun area to just make his head work. There we go, that is the Virgo Beef Boss's head. Next up, we're going to start drawing his shirt. So he's wearing a shirt, it's got a collar, so just a bit of an angle triangle area here. Then same on the other side. Then on the other side, we're going to start drawing. Then we're going to start drawing his bow tie. So think of it like a sweep. Rectangle in the middle, and then two kicking areas out almost like triangles, there is a bow tie. Next we're just going to draw his body area, so curve that around, give him some big muscles, yeah. then we're going to do the other side, so the same sort of thing, we curve that up, but we're just going to make sure he's got his holster in here. Then we continue up, curve around and into his head, that's the top of his body sorted. Now, this guy wears a couple of belts, I think. So here's his belt buckle. I'm going to line that up underneath the bow tie and then we're able to draw a line between the bow tie and the belt buckle. Then draw another line and three circles and that shows his shirt. Let's finish off the first part of the belt on the right-hand side there. Just a few lines. Then we're going to do it on the other side. Then we're going to do, it's got a couple of weird little pocket areas. So two rectangles on his shirt there. Then he's got this clipped area bag on the side of his belt. So a rectangle, another rectangle on its side, and then we can curve out, join it up. We can add another couple of rectangle areas here, and join his belt up. Nice bit of detail there. Second belt underneath, another rectangle. Then we're gonna join the end of the belt Join that up. Then the same thing again, just a few little pieces of detail. Yeah, that look good. All right, that's nearly his uh, middle part of his body done. So he's going to need his arms doing. So we're going to do some muscly arms. So bicep here, curve, just a curve in. Pop a bit out so we know where the arm's going to go. Then his shoulder muscle down to his elbow. And then we've got a big sort of glove area, I've got a big sort of band area on his hand, like an intercom system. And then we can do the rest of his hand underneath here and we just need to do a few little rounded areas there. And that looks good, that's his arm done. So we're gonna go over to the right hand side, shoulder muscle, just an arc here, then a bit of a bicep, another curved area. And we're just gonna put a little pop area in, then his elbow, angle up, And he's got another little intercom area. So a rectangle, fill that in. 
now his hands, he's got, his, he's got a thumb up, so we're going to do his thumb, curve that up, yeah, that looks good, and then put his fingers in, so just a few oblongs here, three oblongs, and then join it up, boom, there's his, there's his upper half. Okay, let's do his legs, so we're just going to do a curve down here, join it up here, a bit of a wavy leg area for his trousers. That's the top part of his leg. Then he's got a few little patches and things going on. Then a curve down and one up, join up there. Then we've done the top of his legs. Do we'll draw a rectangle in here because he's got a patch on his leg on this side. Right, next we've got to think about his knees. So he's got these shield uh, shin pads on his legs. So I'm just gonna draw that in, so shielding area, some straight lines, and then a bit of detail around them. Then he's got big army army boots on there. And a few laces, just put some crosses in for the laces, and it's great. Next, he's got the same sort of thing going on the other side, so some straight angular lines to make his shin pad. And then we can draw his leg there, his foot there. Then we can draw his foot there. Okay, I'm going to have him in the grass area. So we can just do some curves and then some little sticky up pieces of grass. There we are. That are the line work done. So now what I want to do is the colours. Let's think about what we're going to use. Let's use a nice yellow for his burger head. Let's make this one pop, I think. So it's colour in the yellow. Think about the light coming down on him. Leave a bit of an area at the top there for the light shining on it. So we we're making the, the top of his burger head pop. The burger bun's nice and shiny. Great. Okay, so he's got cheese, cheesy area. Color that in yeah, nice and yellow. Then the lower half of the bun is also yellow. Then we can color his holster in, fill that in. We can colour his shirt in. So this half here is yellow. Right, now let's have a think about the trousers are yellow as well. So we can fill those in. Just leave the patch for now. In between the belt areas, we can colour those yellow and fill in the belt as well. Yeah, let's fill all that in, and then this little area, this pocket area he's got, that could be yellow too. Then his glove can be yellow, and his little intercom area, that can be yellow. Then this glove mainly yellow, so let's put that on. I'm just leaving a little bit of highlight on that, just make that area pop. And then his boots might as well be yellow as well. Let's fill those in. That's all coloured up yellow. Great. Next up, let's take the blue. We're going to now do his arms. So I'm going to just make a little area around so I know where I'm going to colour up to. Meaning that the light is shining onto the um, shoulder area. Just adds a little layer, a layer of, just adds a little layer of depth really. Then his collar, colouring around here. His shirt is two different colours, so we've got a blue and a yellow going on. And then the other arm as well. So again, think about where maybe I want the light to go. Just make a little shape in there, and then I know where I'm colouring. Done. He's just got little areas of blue on the top of his gloves, so I'm just going to fill those in too. Then we're going to just colour in his shin pad area. Leave a bit of white to the left so the light is glinting. Same thing here on this one. Leave a little, little bit of white so where the sun's all glinting, making it glint. 
Then his patch, colour that in. Now the belt buckles, there we are. Uh, just fill them in a little rectangle within a rectangle. Yeah. Fill in this intercom area here. Gives it a hint of blue, okay. Uh, let's pick up the red and we want to fill in the burger and tomato area. So what we can do, we can make this tomato area completely fill that in. That's it. Bit of red on the burger area. Give it a bit of difference in colour. There's a little bit of this olive, this is red as well, so that can go on there. Then we might as well do part of this bow tie. Just the rectangular part. Make sure we leave a bit of white. Adds a bit of texture. Kind of straight down here in the middle of his shirt where the buttons are. Then we'll do the underneath of his boots as well. Just going to colour some dark areas here just to make it just a little bit different. Let's pick up the pink and we're going to do his tongue. We're going to do the little bits of burger here. Here we are. That's good. Then I'm just going to fill his tongue in. Just going to draw around there so we've got a bit of light glistening off, off the end of his tongue there. Next, we just want to make sure we've got some little highlighted areas of green going on. So I'm colouring this bit here, um, the rest of this olive oil is top of his burger. And that I think is about it. And I'm just going to colour the grass area in as well. And that's the Burgers Beef Boss. Thanks for watching.